All right, John. What's going on, man? John, uh, where are you from originally? Where'd you grow up? I'm from Los Angeles, California. South Central? Uh, Pico Rivera. Pico Rivera? Yeah. Tell me about your family growing up. You had mom and dad? Uh, yeah, I had a mom. That's about it. Um, she was a, she had to work a lot, so I mean, I had a lot of time to myself. And um, Where's your dad? Never met him. I have a sister, but she's older. But she was in Mexico though at the time when I was when I was growing up. Yeah. What kind of kid were you in high school? Like uh, I was in the party scenes a lot. You know what I mean, I used to be in a, a party crew and all that. But bef before that, I was like to myself. You know what I mean, I was kind of like shy, quiet, and all that. You know what I mean, and um, didn't have a lot of friends. You know what I mean, but you graduated? No. You didn't? I used to uh, ditch a lot. Yeah. yeah. Are you working now? Um, mm -hmm. I do work, but I find myself doing some other crazy shit, you know what I mean? Like, like just basically doing what I want to do, you know what I mean? Yeah, but that takes money still. Yeah, how yeah. Do you make, how do you make money? Oh, okay, well, well I guess you do kind of call it work, because I be, um, I'd be cutting. <laughs> cutting what? Um, Cadillac converters. Oh, <laughs> catalytic converters from cars? Yeah, that's crazy. That's man. your hustle? Um, yeah, it is. Well, it, yeah, it is. It still is. It's, um, it pays good, you know what I mean? I've met a lot of people who had their catalytic converters stolen from their cars. <laughs> now I know who's doing it. <laughs> yeah. And so, so ban out there, there's a bunch of people doing what it. What do though. you sell a catalytic converter for? Shit, um, they used to go for a thousand. I'm not, should I be saying this? Like a thousand two, a thousand two hundred for $1, each. $1,200. Yeah. And we would go and come back with fucking 10 of them. And this guy will fucking. You guys call them Cadillac converters. <laughs> Cause you can't say catalytic. Yeah. No. Well, that's, that's my hustle, but I went, I went to jail behind that. I did some time for that. So now it's like, it is my hustle, but it's, I try not to, you know what I mean? Because I'm on probation and all that. Yeah, bullshit. you can get in trouble again. Yeah, so that's needed, you know what I mean? When it gets hard, when pushing comes to shove, you know what I mean? I do what I have to do. So you like to go down to Figaro Street? Yeah, oh, well, that's, I'm actually, that's where I'll be at all day, every day. Really? Fig, yeah. It's, um, it's like a little spot, you know what I mean? that a lot of people be kicking it, and then... Mm. How often are you hiring a girl to uh, entertain you? How long? How often? Oh, how often? Oh shit, every day. It, it could be like fucking three times a day, four times a day, I mean? That gets expensive, no? Yeah, but um, the ones that I be knowing are like, they're like kind of low ball, I mean? You kind of get to talk to them a little bit, and you, then you, you get mean? a deal. Yeah, some, 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 something like that. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's a lot of girls, though. I mean. Yeah. Well, shit. Four, four, four times a day like that, or I mean, as many as I can. I mean, it's it's just like, um, it's like I'm a sex addict, full blown. Ever since I was like 13, I mean, 14. Really? Yeah, I've been. You know how kids are, we grow up, watch fucking pornos and all that shit and start masturbating and all that, you know what I mean? And don't stop doing that, you know what I mean? So, you know. Does that mean you've probably hired every girl on FIG? Shit. <laughs> Damn near, eh? they, they, all, they all know me. So, that's like, it's, yeah, they all know me. You ever get attached to any of these girls? Mm, some of them, but I try to like snap out of it. I mean, can't be, can't, can't um, fall or f have feelings for this type of females. Why is that? I mean, cause you know I mean they do what they do. You know what I mean, so I mean, I'm not gonna want to share it with nobody. You know what I mean, so no, you want her, you want her all to yourself. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, you gotta take care of her in order to do that. Yeah, and it gets expensive. That's like gonna you take said. more money. Yeah, it takes more money. So, shit. You ever had any uh, girls hustle you for money or the pimps come in in the picture? Oh, no. Well, I did have with this one girl. She uh, pepper sprayed me one time. I was in the car, right? So 
I picked her up and I guess I wasn't, I was taking too long. So she, she just told me to, like, to go ahead and get and do your thing and get hard, you know what I mean? So I, I'm doing my thing and she's just like, I guess she got mad at her or whatever. And she just pulled out this little pepper spray out of her bag, you know what I mean? And just pepper sprayed the shit out of me. <laughs> that shit was funny. I had to drive down like all the way from 80th and Fig all the way to like 40, 40th and Fig without, you know what I mean? Like I wasn't able to see shit. You can't see. Like, yeah. And shit, I still went back the same day, you know what I mean? And she robbed you? Yeah. No. Well, not to the to the same female, but I went to, you know what I mean? No, but, but she took your money the first time? Oh, no, no. She didn't take my money. She just, oh, well, she did take my money because I paid her, you know what I mean? But she didn't rob me, you know what I mean? Yeah, I see. Yeah. But she, she got me real good. Pepper, pepper sprayed the shit out of me. How old are you? Me, I'm 39. 39. Have you ever had a relationship with a girl that is not a sex worker? Uh... Have I ever had a relationship with a girl that's not uh, a worker? Right. Yeah, I have, I, have, I have a baby mom. Oh, you do? Yeah. I'm the, yeah, she didn't know about this, and you know what I mean. And you were doing this the whole time? Yeah, the whole time, and she found out it was it was all bad. Yeah. And um, why well, it used to take a lot from 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 the income at house. You know what I mean, because I would, I would I would spend all my money. I would come back. Yeah, and, it gets expensive what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. I would come back and from work and just not even. I wouldn't even make it home. You ever get any diseases from doing this? Um, uh, I think I caught a. What do they call that? Um, it's like a. Wait, I guess your shit drips. <laughs> yeah, you got the drips. That's what you, they call you, it. The drip or the clap, something. some shit like that. Yeah, if you. I got the you don't, use a, you don't use a condom? Uh, a few times I did it. Yeah, it was just, I don't know why, so. Are drugs a part of your life? Yeah, major part of my life. What do you use? Uh, crystal meth. Crystal meth. Yeah. Is that? that that's what enhances the whole situation, I mean, for me to just to be out in the street and like look for every girl, you know what I mean? Well, not every girl, but just look for a girl. You know I mean, if it's. Fat, skinny. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like I gotta have them on and shit. That's just the way it makes me feel. And you're okay with this lifestyle, this, this uh, kind of relationships? Mm, I'm not okay with it, but I guess it's what I want for for the for the moment. It's like an addiction for you, right? Yeah. It's, oh, yeah. It is an addiction. And a while back, I was addicted to porno too. Pornos. And I would watch a lot of porno, and then. My baby mama, she would she would be upset because of that too. Are you addicted to the sex, or is it the crystal meth that makes you addicted to the sex? I think it's the crystal meth that makes me. Yeah, because when I I used to be sober for a few months, and um, it wasn't it was like me and her we wouldn't have the same kind of relationship, as to the way I was when I was high. I would want to be with her all the time, right? and she would always she'd like say no or some bullshit like that. So all that. I'll go out and look for a girl. What do you prefer? White girls, black girls, Mexican girls? Uh, Mexican girls. Yeah. You like the Mexican girls? Yeah. Stay. I mean, I've been with a black girl and a white girl too, you know what I mean? So, for a moment I had a, like a, a fantasy on black girls, you know what I mean? And I was stuck on that for a minute. Like I would just get every black girl, every black girl, every black girl. Until I guess I just it died out and shit. Is it going to be hard for you if you ever want to have a, a normal relationship again to, to meet a female and not assume they're going to have sex in, in ten minutes? Mm, no, because I, I I've I've caught myself like I mean like since I'm older now, like I feel a little bit different. You know what I mean, thinking a little bit different, but I, it's like my mentality is still like young, but like so I try to I try to. Be more like considerate to you know what I mean, or like to the next person. If I do, if I do come across a person that I want to be with, you know what I mean, yeah, I'm not. It's not all bad like that, but I do have feelings for other people. Like, you know what I mean, do you ever get hassled by the cops? On that tip, no, never. Thank God. Thank God, because then you would have to. 
uh, register as a sex sex offender and all that. So, oh, is that right? Yeah, I think in our in in our like culture, well, not culture, but like us, like we don't we it's, that's a bad it's a bad um, reputation on your jacket to be like a sex offender type. Yeah. You'll go without sleep now because you're on crystal meth, right? Shit, I've been, I've been out with no sleep for a whole week. You haven't slept for a week? Right now? Right now. Wow. So when I got out, I didn't sleep for a whole month. Shit, it was crazy. You get out of? And I, I was having sex back to back and just doing crazy shit, you know what I mean? Thinking crazy shit, like I just want to be out in the street at night, shit. Fucking steal cars just to go and fucking look for tricks and I mean tricks I mean look for bitches you know what I mean yeah you think you'll be doing this the rest of your life or you mm, no I'm a, I'm a barber so that's what I want to do mm. yeah I don't I don't want to be doing this bullshit would you say you're happy no emotionally this what do you go through like I'm physically happy but not emotionally I be like I've got a lot of shit that I've went through you know what I mean that I haven't dealt with. I guess for me to move on. You think not having your dad in your life played a role in all of this? I think so, because, yeah, I don't like the way I was born or the way I was raised. My, I, um, my attitude is kind of like fucked up. I, you know what I mean? People, in, like, people see that I have like a fucked up attitude, you know what I mean? I can see that in them. Are you repeating your dad's footsteps? Well, I never met him, so I can't no, say. No, but you have a son or daughter, right? No, I have two girls, yeah. How often do you see them? Well, they got adopted, so um, I haven't seen them since 2014. So they're older now. They're like 15 and 14. What's your biggest regret? Not fighting for them. Yeah, not fighting for them the way I was posting. What's your biggest fear now? Fear? Yeah, what are, you, what are you afraid of now? Being alone. Being alone? Yes. And I, it seems like it's gonna come down to that point. But, I mean, I got potential, you know what I mean, to be a good dude, you know what I mean? Yeah. Would you say, even though that you're with a different girl every night, that this is a lonely life for you? Um, yeah. Because you don't have that companionship or that friendship or that, you know You're I mean? aware that these girls are all just yeah, it's hustling just you like, for money. It's just instant gratification for me, I mean? Like, I'm high and I get hot and bothered or whatever, you know what I mean? And I just, yeah, want to have sex with different females. Um, it's kind of weird. This is my first time talking about this, yeah. so... If it sounds weird. Now you're doing good. <laughs> John, what would you say is the most important lesson you've learned in your life? Treat people the way you want to be treated. Even though I treat the way I treat women, it's like, it's, that's, that's like the best thing you have to learn. Like if you want to be treated good, you got to treat people good too. Yeah. John, thank you so much for sharing your story. All right, bro. We wish you lots of luck out there. Thank you. Thanks, man.